Hello! Today we're going to be unboxing these two units. Uh, a string trimmer from Cobalt, that's part of their 80 volt max line. And this is a hedge trimmer from Cobalt, that's part of their 80 volt line. These are both cordless electric majiggy thingy bobs. I'm Anthony, wait, you can't see me because I'm, uh, crap. I'm Anthony with really messed up hair because I've been using the GoPro thingy. And uh, today we're gonna be doing that thing that I already said we're gonna be doing. Um, but first, I have to, something I have to tell you about the boxes. Wait, fuck, now you can't see the boxes. We're gonna do the balance of this video with the GoPro on my head. Um, so this, uh, the interesting thing here is if you buy these in the store, they're gonna come in more colorful boxes. However, if you have them shipped to you, they will come like this. So there you go. That's, that's why these are white. Anyway, let's go ahead, let's grab ourselves a cutting utensil uh, for any tape that might be on here and uh, see what's in the box. I think I have a cutting utensil over here. Do I, oh, I do have a cutting utensil. Ah! Cutting utensil! So first things first, we have to take a look at the box, see if there's any tabs or anything to obviously open it. And no, there's not. But we can always just, you know, slice into the top and then just make that our opening place. That, that always kind of works, right? So we're gonna go ahead and throw down our cutting utensil and let's open this puppy up. Of course, this isn't a puppy. I have puppies, I can show you puppies. All right, looks like we have a piece of cardboard and oh, rawr, goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Ah, you know what? This might come out of the other side a little easier. Well, maybe, maybe not, let's see. Oh no, as long as I, oh, I'm gonna have to put both feet, look at this. I'm gonna have to put both feet down there and then just pull this sucker out. There we go. Wow, that was fairly easy. So we can go ahead and throw that down there. Comes wrapped in a plasticky bag and just go ahead and rip that right off of there. Okay, so we've got, let's see, we got that button riggy thingy. I don't know what that does. Then we got this one. I don't know what that one does either. Then we got this. I don't know what that does either. Where's my manual? Manuel. Aha, we have a manual. I am so glad that we have this thing so that we can pretty much toss it to the side and never read it. Let's figure this thing out. Now, this one in particular, um, it, it actually uses the same batteries as the cobalt mower and also the blower, but uh, this one doesn't come with a battery. How are we going to solve this? I don't know. How about we use one of the 80 volt max lithium ion 2.5 amp hour batteries from the mower. So let's do this thing. Throw that on there. Let's see here, okay? So right off the bat, these two switches don't seem to do much. Oh, they do tend to do something. Oh, okay, so that one allows you to rotate your thingy. Probably have to remove this before anything productive can be done. If I had to take a wild guess. But I don't know how to start it. How does this work? Wow. Okay, there we go. So you have to put this off to the side and then do that. So let's go outside and see what this baby does. Oh. Hey, bushies. Like butter. Look at that. That's nice. That's really nice. See if we can make some more room for this garbage can, huh? All right, let's try it on the other side. Oh, hey, that comes in handy. All right, let's see if that can fits back in there a little bit more easily. Oh my goodness, it does. That is beautiful. Let's go see what our other toy does. So now that we have sufficiently played with our hedge trimmer, let's see what comes in the box for our string trimmer. Now this one doesn't open on the ends. This one you can actually open via this thing, but you've got, you, you need, you have to have a cutting utensil which I happen to have right here. 
So, let's go ahead and cut the tape. Bah -bah. And there's a little bit more tape over here. Thankfully, it's not red tape. There we go. All right, there we go. Slice that right open. Bingo! So, pull these back. Pull this out. And here we go. Holy moly. Okay then, so 80 volt string trimmer. Okay, so we end up with these two pieces. Again, no extra battery, but that's okay. We have batteries from our mower and from our blower, so that's fine. This should be as simple as inserting tab A into slot B, except there is a rubber thing on tab A. So once you stick tab A into slot B, you'll notice there's this little thing. You have to line up this little guy here to put it into that hole. So go ahead, get all your little things and all your little holes, tighten, tighten, tighten. Now, that, you're not done quite yet. So you have this guy here, which you will have to deal with. Um, so what you wanna do is you'll want to go ahead and ah, go ahead and remove the tape. There's a little guard that goes on here. So they actually made this really easy for you. You simply put this on there. There's really only one way it fits. And then you uh, you screw these guys in. But I, uh, at the moment, I do not have a screwing apparatus. So I will have to go get one. All right. So now that we found our screwing apparatus, we can go ahead and screw that in there. And then we're gonna screw this in here as soon as I can figure out how, uh, you know, three dimensions work. Now, some people might tell you that when you're screwing something like this in, it's very, very important to follow a certain pattern when you tighten it fully. And those people are somewhat right. Generally speaking, the way you wanna tighten this down to its full tightness is tighten this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. Or in reverse, this one, this one, this one, this one. It doesn't really matter, but you just don't wanna tighten down one side totally than the other. It's pretty much the, uh, the thing here. Now for some things, it's a lot more important than other things, but you know, just generally speaking, it's a really good idea. All right, so we got this weird wiggly, wibbly wobbly thing here, and I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be its uh, final resting place. Think it has something to do with this? I don't know, we are gonna have to figure this out. Huh, some kind of weird control scheme here. Well, that actually might be the final resting place of that. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. So we just need to apply power. Oh yeah, we still have a battery in our thingy guy here, whose name I've forgotten. Pah! So we should now be able to turn it on, put in the thumb thing. Whoa, it works. That's nice and everything, but I need something a little bit more extreme back there. So ladies and gentlemen, that's everything in the box and that's how you use them. So cool. Just to let you know, here there's actually a speed control. Um, there's actually only two speeds on this. There are three speeds on the cobalt blower, but that's fine. The two speeds that they have seem to have done everything I needed for it to do. And this seems to be a really nice uh, weed eater. I may want to get some different string on there though. Till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, do all those things that make me love a job. Also be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. Bye. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. If you'd like to watch more content, that's on screen now. Also, if you'd like to support this channel, you can find a Patreon link at the lower right-hand corner of your screen. Next vlog.